Princess Beatrice hugs husband Eduardo Mapelli Mazzi in intimate New Year's Eve photos. The couple continued tradition and joined the royal family's march to St. Mary Magdalene at Sandringham on Christmas. Eduardo Mapelli Mazzi is ringing in the new year with Princess Beatrice by his side. On Monday, the property developer posted two intimate photos with his wife of three years on Instagram. Edo, 40, and Beatrice, 35, shared smiles and a hug in the set of black and white snaps taken in a sea of people. The shots appeared to be taken at a glam get together, as evidenced by Edo's tuxedo and twinkling lights behind. Happy New Year's, here's to a glorious 2024 clinking glasses, he wrote with the photos. Today is the first blank page of a 365 page book. Write a good one, the caption continued, featuring a quote from country star Brad Paisley. Edo and Beatrice rang in the holidays in traditional royal style and attended church on Christmas Day with King Charles, Queen Camilla, Prince William, Kate Middleton, and other members of the royal family at St. Mary Magdalene Church. Charles and Camilla have continued the longtime royal custom of celebrating Christmas at Sandringham House in Norfolk, which Queen Elizabeth perpetuated throughout her record reign before her death in September 2022. Like last year, Princess Beatrice and Edo stepped out for the Christmas service, as did her sister Princess Eugenie, her husband Jack Brooksbank, and their father Prince Andrew. The Duke of York, 63 has continued to join the royals at family events despite stepping back from his royal role in 2019 and being stripped of his military titles and patronages by his mother Queen Elizabeth in 2022 due to his ties to convicted sex offender Jeffrey Epstein. In a holiday surprise, the princess's mother Sarah Ferguson also joined the church outing this year. Sarah and Andrew wed in 1992 and divorced in 1996, and Fergie, as the Duchess of York is known, hasn't joined the royal family for the Christmas outing in many years. However, the Duke and Duchess of York have remained friendly and continue to live together at Royal Lodge in Windsor, where they care for Queen Elizabeth's two surviving corgis, Sandy and Muick. Cameras caught a relatable mother-daughter moment between Fergie and Beatrice during the walk on Christmas last week, when Beatrice was spotted hurrying her mom along. Following the mass, Fergie was spotted greeting well-wishers and wishing everyone a happy Christmas. In a video share on X, she was heard telling people, gotta go, gotta go, as she lagged behind the rest of the attendees. However, she then made her way across the path to the other side to speak with more people. Princess Beatrice then came into view, seemingly telling her mother that they had to head out, drawing laughs from the crowd. Fergie then joined Beatrice and Edo to leave. The Duchess of York's Christmas outing came as a surprise to royal watchers. It's not common for divorced spouses to attend a close family event, and even engaged partners were not included until recently. After Meghan Markle and Prince Harry got engaged in 2017, she joined the royal family at Christmas for the first time, but in 2010, Prince William wasn't allowed to bring Princess Kate despite their own engagement. Last year's Royal Christmas Church outing was extra special for Beatrice and Edo, as they brought his seven year old son Christopher Wolfe for the first time. Edo shares his son, who is affectionately nicknamed Wolfie, with his ex-girlfriend Dara Huang, an American architect and designer. When Princess Beatrice and Edo announced the name of their daughter Sienna Elizabeth, now two, a few weeks after her birth in September 2021, they added that Wolfie is the best big brother to Sienna. While Wolfie didn't tag along for the holiday march to St. Mary Magdalene this year, he attended Princess Kate's third annual Christmas Carol concert at Westminster Abbey with Beatrice and Edo in December. The little one arrived hand in hand with his stepmother and mailed a letter in the red mailbox placed outside the Abbey to collect cards for children who might be struggling this season, and Prince George, 10, Princess Charlotte, 8, and Prince Louis, 5, also did the same. 